Good morning, class. Today we'll be balancing equations. And it seems to be complicated for some people. It seems to be easy for some others. First of all, we're given a word equation, sodium hydroxide. Don't look at the whole equation. Don't look at the whole sequence because it's going to throw you off. Look at one thing at a time. Barium. Barium hydroxide. If I go to my chart and I look for barium, I could see that barium itself is found in group number two. Barium. If it's in group number two, therefore it has it has a charge of two plus because it is a metal. This is what I do. I cheat myself and I do this. Charge of two. Hydroxide. Polyatomic ion. This is given to you. Hydroxide. I look for hydroxide. Look for OH. Hydroxide. Charge of negative one. And I write negative one over here. So when I go to this, I go barium hydroxide. What happens now is that the two from barium will go to hydroxide. Therefore, barium two hydroxide. At the same time, hydroxide is giving one to barium, which will be going here. But we don't write that because it is understood that it's one. Therefore, we don't need to write the one. Go to the next one. The word N means plus. Plus. Hydrochloric acid. Based on the rules of acid naming, hydro means that it is not a an, an acid with oxygen. Therefore, it is just HCl. Hydrochloric acid. Although hydrogen is a charge of one, it is positive one as a non-metal. Chlor and chlorine is negative one equals a one-to-one -one ratio. Yields, means the arrow, barium and chloride, based on the prior, before the arrow combination, I saw that barium is a plus two, and chlorine, I know that it's a negative one. Therefore, the two goes to chlorine, the one two goes to barium. Just write down the symbols, barium chloride, the two came to chlorine, and water. We have written the equation. It is now time to balance. Make a line. There's only one spot in which I could add numbers in order to balance the equations. It's right at the beginning. And this numbers, whatever I add, here would be multiply times barium, multiply times whatever number is to hydroxide. So it is distributed. If you view it that way as in algebra, let's keep going. Make a line dividing left and right before and after reaction. Arrow means reaction. <coughs> barium, both sides. Barium in both sides. It has a one, it has a one. That is okay, that is not unbalanced. Go to, let's break down oxygen. Oxygen has two because there are two on the outside, which goes to oxygen, two to the outside, it goes to hydrogen. Oxygen, two on the side. Oxygen, one on the other side. Let's keep going. So far, that is the first thing that is not balanced. Therefore, if I add a two at the beginning of the equation here, it will give me two for oxygen. Why? Because it goes just like this. The two goes to oxygen. However, Although oxygen, oxygen is now two, 
what happens to hydrogen, it is also two because this two goes to also hydrogen, which is two times two. Let's keep going. Let's make the list. Barium, barium is fine. Oxygen is fine. Let's continue with hydrogen. And I have, before the arrow, I have three. After the arrow, I have four. How do I know that? There are two here, and there is one there. That's how we know that. So there are three hydrogens before the arrow. So right now, I could see that H is not balanced. <clears throat> Let's balance it out. If I happen to add two here, that would give me two times one, which is two. And on this side, I have two already, which is four. And right now, oxygen, sorry, hydrogen, it is balanced. I have four on each side. Let's keep going. Next element. Fluorine on this side, I have two because two times one on fluorine gave me two, two fluorines. On the other side, I have two already. Let's do a recount. Let's move all this so we don't get confused. Before the reaction, before the arrow, barium has one. After reaction, has one. Oxygen has two, two on each side. H's, I have four on each side. Greens, I have two on each side. Good. Let's go and do one that is balanced. Sometimes the equation is balanced. You don't have to do anything to it. As long as you write the equation properly, you will identify whether it is balanced or not balanced. Magnesium, charge of two, two positive. Carbonate, carbonate is a polyatomic ion. It is found on our list of polyatomic ions. Sorry, it's right over here. CO3, charge of negative two. Let me write that down. Mg, CO3, carbonate. In this case, they're both twos, those twos cancel. I don't need to write anything, anything to magnesium. I don't need to write anything to carbonate. Yields is the arrow, yields is the arrow. Magnesium, we said it's two. And oxygen, if I go to my chart, I could see that oxygen is in group 16, charge of negative 2. Magnesium, oxide, they're both 2's, they cancel out. Plus, this N, carbon dioxide, covalent compound, let's do a count. Magnesium here, magnesium there, and I have one of each. Carbons on this side, I have one. Carbons on that side, I have one. Oxygens on this side before the arrow, I have three. And oxygens after the arrow, I also have three. Why do I have three? Because I have two here, and one there, three oxygens. If I do a recount, if I do a, take a closer look at the equation, I could say that everything is balanced. The equation was already balanced, given to me. Therefore, in this equation, when the equation is balanced, you just write the word balanced.
it takes practice to do balancing equations. It is not a one-time shot sometimes. Sometimes you have to go through a few trials, trial and error, until you come to the proper balancing of the equation. If the first time it doesn't work out, don't get frustrated. Try it again.